Cuthbert has simply one of the most recognisable yeah. voices in British comedy. Can we come out yet? <laughs> I'll be MC. It's Boy George and Johnny Vegas. <laughs> It's a certain kind of guy to rock the card. Thank you. And you are doing it. I wish I'm not the most badly behaved person in the studio. <laughs> Definitely have you, have not. you met before? Because yeah, what we a met pair we've got. Club, weirdly. Oh, okay. yeah. Heaven, right. yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was in heaven having drinks bought for me. It was a unique experience having somebody sidle up and go, Can I get you a pint? And you know, you just right. go, Yeah. Best feeling. Oh, my. <laughs> it wasn't me, obviously. It wasn't you, I was going to say. It wasn't you, Judge? No. No, um, we no talking... even didn't buy me half. It's quite cheap. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about voices there at the top of the show, and as we said, you've both got very distinctive voices. Mm -hmm. Can you ever go incognito, you know, when you call, like, a call centre or when you're in the back of a taxi? Or do, does everybody straight away know it's If you? I speak yeah. or show my eyes... That's, that's the end of it. it but um, I actually was on the bus the other day going to Woolwich. <laughs> going to be on the bus. Hang on, why? <laughs> for you. I was going to my mum's, I couldn't get my sister to pick right, me up, okay. so I jumped on the bus. Yeah. Immediately you know, a cliff Hood up, glasses on. No one knew it was me, it was genius. But um, <laughs> if I speak or if take the glasses off, yeah. obviously, game over. Oh, with that hat, yeah. obviously. Yeah, oh, that's I wasn't a wearing this. So I, was, I was very, very, <laughs> like, so basic. That, so that's a spider on there. No, it's a it? cockroach. Oh, it's a cockroach, yeah. right? Oh, sorry, I'm Everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, country <laughs> fan. Well, no, I couldn't <laughs> see in the line. You don't, you don't want to make that social faux part again, do you? No, no, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I draw attention to his cockroach hat and thought it was a spider. See? I get it all the time. I get the... I thought it was you when you spoke. Yeah. I knew it was you, and it's I. How do you feel about hearing yourself back? Obviously not singing. Oh, I find my my talking. Well, my laugh when I laugh, I sound like a, I'm cackling. Oh, you know, I find yeah, I find my yeah. laugh like because uh, I I was I'm doing the voice and they did the clip of like all these laughs and I was like, oh my god, why do I sound like that? And I've got the sort of raspy, I don't know, I've got a yeah. bit of a raspy yeah. sound, you know. Um, but yeah, my voice, singing voice is totally different to my speaking voice, thank yeah. God. H has your singing voice changed a lot since, you know, back in the 80s? And the I would say that it has. I mean, I think my voice is stronger. Obviously, mm. I, I take singing lessons now, which I didn't do when I was in my 20s. All oh, right. But I've actually discovered that you can learn stuff. It's so exciting. <laughs> and I'm actually working with, you know, a young guy who's like under yeah. 30. <laughs> You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, we'll talk I, more I, about why you're taking this thing a little bit later. I, was that I, being I being sound like my mum. That's the worst thing. So <laughs> whenever I talk out loud, I feel like I'm telling myself off. <laughs> <laughs> the stuff. It's it terrible. Like no being compliment to mom, your mum you, as well. <laughs> no, she does. She sounds like she's done 40 years down the pit, my mum. <laughs> <laughs> Well, also tonight we're going to have a performance from a band who can count Paul McCartney amongst their fans. Yeah. Nathaniel Ratliff and the Night Sweats. If you haven't heard of them before, they are very they're good. from Denver. Yeah. They're brilliant. They're going to be performing a little bit later on outside yeah. for us. Now, here before, and it's happened now, so there's a full on series. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, let's bring everybody up to date with who Neil is and what, what his story is. He's a guy that works at a service station. They've saved all the life. They've bought this lodge. Uh -huh. They think, you know, it's going to be... It's the start of... It's that new, wonderful chapter in their life. Yeah. And then when they arrive there... <coughs> excuse me, they... Um, it's my mum. <laughs> <laughs> when they arrive there, they've got these neighbours across the way. And you know the whole idea of it's a classless... We have a classless society and you've got... Mm. We don't. No. And his inverted snobbery, he just becomes obsessed right. with a neighbour who's actually a really nice guy. Uh, Amelia Fox plays a wonderful kind of snob in it. Comedically, she, she's amazing. Oh, okay. And he just gets in a, a bee in his bonnet about him and gets himself into a lot of sort of unfortunate <laughs> yeah. situations as a result of trying to compete with a man that he simply, you know what I mean? Yeah. Can't compete with. Mm. And who plays your mum in it is Elaine Page, amazingly. Elaine Page plays my mum. Genius. In a way, you your... never... Thank you, cos that it? was my idea, that. That's such a great idea. Oh, was it? Right. Was your own mum jealous? Because, my own, I mean... My own mum loved it. We grew yeah. up with a lamp page in our house. Is yeah. that why you wanted her as your... I don't know why it came to me. <laughs> I think I'd eaten a, a sandwich that was off or something. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we were sat having the chat of who to cast, and we had this amazing list, and you go, what about Elaine Page? 
And they went, let's get her in. And she came in and she had... There wasn't a, an ounce of diva, you know what I mean? She, she, yeah. she really plays against type. I think people are going to be really shocked and it's going to be a double take <clears> before they go... Is that a lady? Is that, <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. And so my it, mum came to set and met her and it was... Lovely. You know I mean? Oh, there, there's your real mum. There you are. Oh, yeah, there's my there's... Real, real mum. Have you got that picture <laughs> of her biting into a pork chop? <laughs> <laughs> we were just recently on holiday. We went back up to where we, we shot the show. Yeah. And, um, the dogs under my, you know, the dogs can spot a sucker who will feed my son's dog. Yeah. And I've just looked up, and my mum had all of this pork chop. <laughs> <laughs> like she'd hurt anyone if they come nearer. And the dog's kind of going, I'm not begging off her. Have you ever had trouble with neighbours? Have I ever had trouble real, with neighbours? In real life, you know. Oh, I have, have you? Never. <laughs> now, why do we get the feeling that's a massive lie? I did use it. You know what? I did years ago. I suppose in the early days, when I first moved into Posh Hampstead, there was a little bit of... Cos, you know, we had yeah. little kids outside the house. Yeah. And the music sometimes was a little bit loud. Reggae music in Hampstead, a little bit of a problem for some people. Mm -hmm. But now it feels like... Fine. Very 30-something. You know, I feel like we don't yeah. have any issues. I live very close to Sam Smith. And even he's quiet. Oh, we love Sam Smith. <laughs> very quiet. Is he? Oh, yeah, 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 I can, yeah, no, I can imagine. He's very anything, sensible, you know. isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> we text three months, isn't it, where they go, he's very good with the recycling. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that, but I always joke, I live in Soul Street. You know, he's got oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All the yeah, right over the years, I've, the right had, I've had dramas with neighbours, yeah. yeah. I, got yeah. Told, I got told my yeah. front garden is bringing down the street. <laughs> I was once playing Scrabble. And this is in the street where one woman wants to trim a hedge in the shape of a cat. <laughs> well, like you know who you are. <laughs> 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 so, so you were saying that you went back up. A giant you... privet cat. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine me walking home from the pub and going, oh! <laughs> <laughs> if anything would happen, I've turned into a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> but it does brighten the street up if someone's got like an interesting, you know. It does. Yeah, a bit of privet in a in a yeah. shape. Yeah, yeah well, I like I it. Did, I was planning to prune this thing in my garden. I was just afraid of it. Oh, you were the one going to do a cat? No, no, oh. no, no. I, I, I had. Look, I bought this house and they planted things. And and I didn't know how to trim them. Talk so it just kind of been yeah. overgrown. Matt can show you, no problem. And then I left the pumpkins out after Halloween oh. and they rotted and got even scurrier. Well, I would <laughs> like to live on the same street as you, then. That's not good, is it? It's What's not. That? Good. It's not good. I mean, you've got to look after your garden. Yeah. You've got to. Yeah. yeah, I know. And I oh, just get a, you've got loads of money, get a gardener. <laughs> it's, it's all pebble. <laughs> <laughs> well, but I am I'm getting a bin, a bin hider. <laughs> <laughs> what are they called? It sounds like I'm you're on to promote a television programme about <laughs> renovating front gardens, but you're not. <laughs> this is all no. about Home From Home, which starts on Friday, <laughs> yeah. the 20th of April, half past nine on BBC. Yes, One. sorry. It's based thanks, in the next. Uh, yeah, I was here to plug something, wasn't I? <laughs> <laughs> you lost four Thursday. I offended half the street. <laughs> no, it's all hey, right. Big love, Murdy, Murdy, my next door neighbour, if you're watching, I love you and I am going to jet wash the front for you. <laughs> Now, if we were to say the name Zebedee... Yeah.